Welcome to Prissy and to Educational Academy. In this session, I am going to explain you eliminate the arbitrary function f from z is equal to f of y by x. So first, you have to write the given z is equal to f of y by x, y divided by x. Take this equation number 1. Differentiate equation number 1 partially with respect to x. So you have to differentiate with respect to x. So dou z by left hand side is z. So dou z by dou x is equal to f means f dash function means f dash of y by x. So after that y by x you have to differentiate. y by x if you are differentiating with respect to x you will get minus y by x square. Okay, so from the notation, what is dou z by dou x? That is a p, which is equal to f dash of y by x, y divided by x minus y divided by x square. Now you can write by cross multiplying p into x square. So p into x square divided by minus y, which is equal to f dash of y divided by x take this equation number 2. Next the differentiate equation number 1 partially with respect to with respect to y. So we are going to differentiate partially with respect to y. So do is it by so dou z by dou y which is equal to dou z by dou y which is equal to the function means f dash of y by x. Next you got to differentiate y by x. y if you are differentiating 1 so therefore 1 by x. From the notation dou z by dou y is equal to q which is equal to f dash of y by x into 1 by x. 1 by x this x if you do the cross multiplication qx which is equal to f dash of y divided by x. Take this equation number 3. So from equation number 2 and 3 right hand sides are equal that's that's why left hand side is also equal. So therefore you can write as okay so equation number 2 is here equation number 2 p x square divided by minus y f dash of y by x equation number 3 is equation number 2 is p x square divided by minus y so p x square divided by minus y which is equal to q x right p x square divided by minus y from equation number 2 and 3 ok so x x square 1 x uh, cancelled so p x by cross multiplying minus q y right so therefore p x plus q y which is equal to 0 so which is required partial differential equation which is required partial differential